Welcome to the magnificent world of maths, where we will teach you how to subtract numbers like 63,215 from numbers like 80,000. Here is an example. 500,000 take away 213,895. First part is like normal. Borrow 10 to get 10 take away 5 equals 5 in the ones column. The new problem is that there is nothing to borrow from. We have to go all the way to 100,000. One, wait, 100. Oh, damn. 100,000. Here we can here we can say that five hundred thousand equals four hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety plus ten. To show that we can cross out all the zeros, replace them with nines and change five to four. And that's how you figure out how to subtract big numbers with lots of zeros. It seems easy, hard, but how easy? Well, when you see when you get a big number with lots of zeros in it, it can be hard to subtract from because there's nothing to take away from until you get right up to there. So what we're saying is that a big number like this can be converted into a number like this plus 10. That way we've got nines and fours that we can take away from which are easier than taking away from zeros. That's all we're doing with this type of strategy. So we can say that 5,000 is the same as 4,990 plus 10. Why don't we try a slightly harder one? That sounds like a good idea. Well, let's start with a really big number that's got lots of zeros in it, but we've got 8 million. No hundreds and no tens of thousands, but we've got 7,000 on top. What's a number we can subtract from to make it interesting? 7 million. 7 million. 9 hundred. 23,000. 23,568. Nice. So we're going to subtract that. Now straight away, we can do the very simplest thing. We can borrow 10 from here, can't we? Mm -hmm. um, except we can't take it from there or there, so we've got to go right the way back to the 7,000. Now, straight away, we can knock out that 700 tens there and turn it into 699 tens. Now, we've already used one 10 there, so we can start doing our subtraction, can't we? 10 take away 8 is 2. 9 take away 6 is 3. 9 take away 5 is 4. 6 take away 3 is 3. Now we can start our algorithm idea all over again here because we've got some more zeros. We can put this as a 10, but we need to make these, these hundreds of thousands and these millions into 7,900,000. It's important that we keep our place value, isn't it? So, 10 take away 2 is... 8 9 take away 9 is... 0 7 take away 7 is... 0 So our whole answer there is... 80, 800... Oh, slow down. 83,432 Nice. Well done, you guys. That is clever.